Hey guys, it's Chan, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing a, another spy camera. It is a 1080p HD DVR DIY camera. It's not that much of a DIY, but it is. So on the front of the box, that's exactly what it says over here. Um, to the right side, or to the left side, it says some of the features it has. Again, some of the same thing. Model everything, and the bottom nothing to the top just the normal stuff so when we open it it's pretty easy and simple to get started and open it so the first thing we get is this um, plastic wrapped camera and all of that so we'll be checking this out later um, next thing we got in here is the remote to use it we'll be checking that out then we have a charging cable doesn't seem that long but will work then we have a user manual, but we will be going through all of this today. And as you guys can see, it says over here, I don't know if you guys can see, it says 1080p, um, and it just tells you everything over here. Um, so yeah, but we'll be talking about that anyways, so yeah, let's get started. So um, over here, we'll just be checking out the camera itself over here. So when we take it out, this is where the DIY function comes in, I guess. Um, we have a 3,800 milliamp hour battery, and that is very big, bigger than most smartphones, actually. Some uh, Androids do come with higher, and most iPhones come with lower than that. So 3,800 milliamps will last you a very long time, usually um, around 12 hours, it says it will last, maybe even more, maybe even less, uh, depends on what you're going to be using. Um, then we have the camera itself, very miniature actually, so let me try to like zoom in on that. I don't know if it'll focus. So yeah, that's the lens over here, and um, as you guys can see, very tiny. Um, but yeah, overall, it is very tiny and it just has a strip of wire. Now over here we do have a micro SD card slot up to 32 gigabytes. Over here we have the connector to connect it to the battery. We have an on off switch, a charging cable, and over here is the um, the antenna to the remote over there. So yeah. So the first thing you guys want to do is get the micro SD card over here. Um, like I said, up to 32 gigs. I'm a, I'm gonna put a 8 gigabyte in here. So yeah. So what you guys want to do is. I just want to push it. Uh, it might seem a little bit that, but to just it's a spring. It will be a little bit tensioned, but yeah. And then after doing that, you guys want to connect the battery or connect it in the first place. Okay, so I just want to make sure it's secure, and it is in now. Um, you guys can just leave it on as long as it's off. Make sure you guys go ahead and charge the battery up fully before you first use. And um, yeah, and um, now we'll take out the remote. So this is the remote, guys. Um, we slide this down, and you have A, B, C, and D. And um, the A button is the on/off button when it's on 
right? The B button is the 1080p recording, C buttons for photo, and D buttons for motion detect. So I will be just showing you a video recording today. So yeah. So what you guys want to do first is actually turn on the device onto the bottom. You will not see any lights over here yet until I actually press and hold the A button. And it does vibrate. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it does actually vibrate and it does have the light. Now, um, that's if you guys are going to be putting it in a button or something. So, yeah. And over here, I will just get something to record. Over here. And um, what you guys will want to do is when you guys set it up, the camera will have to be upside down. And um, it will be more stable. Sorry for that in advance because right now my hands are unstable and it's supposed to be in a stationary place. So we'll just get started. So you guys want to click on B. Here, B. And it vibrates and to turn it off you guys just press and hold a and it will do the vibration again and to fully turn it off is flip the switch and yeah so um, that's practically how you guys use it and yeah so uh, what you guys would want to do after that is just take out the micro SD card or just plug it in directly and check out the video from there and um, yeah just um, that's what you guys would do, plug it into your computer. So yeah. So yeah, like I said guys, um once you guys do that, it's a great camera. I would say 1080p is great. If you guys are in a more lit area, it should um definitely be much better quality. And the date was wrong, as you guys can see, it said 2013. I am filming this in 2016. So yeah. Um you guys would just change that um by adding a new file named time or date and um setting it all up over there. Um, but yeah, it's very good. Definitely great camera. It's um, great. It's tiny. It's one of actually It's, um, it's going to be the world's smallest um, as you guys can see it. It's just a lens and You guys rarely ever see that so um, yeah, it's definitely great So yeah, I would definitely go ahead and check it out and um, That's all for today guys if you guys did like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up um, make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below on how I did in this video and what I can improve on share with your friends hit that subscribe button Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video